1,000 is initiative from Scott's Miracle Grow to grow 1,000 gardens in urban areas and cities nationwide. And Fort Worth was fortunate enough to win one of their grants of $25,000 for our children's garden, which enhances our botanic gardens. We're also honored to partner with Mayor Price's Fitworth Initiative that is focusing on helping families make healthier life choices and helping to reduce and fight childhood obesity. We also have Texas Water Smart talking about conservation with Commissioner Todd Staples because we're facing a long-term drought in this part of Texas, in fact all of Texas, particularly North Texas, and the more we can teach children and families about water conservation, reuse, the better we'll all be. Our partners on this at Scott's and with the Botanical Gardens will help with the new irrigation system, the educational pavilion for children, a greenhouse, and garden beds. It's a child-friendly environment that makes it the focal point for youth, for learning, nutrition, and active and healthy lifestyles. With our Grow 1000 grant, we're able to program additional educational opportunities and bring more and more school groups like these great kids into the gardens to enjoy. All of this could not have been possible without Dolores Geisel, and for that, Jim, I'm, I'm even more appreciative that your grant recognizes the efforts of the Fort Worth Botanical Society, the Master Gardeners of Tarrant County, and the garden staff. I started volunteering when I retired, and I joined the Master Gardeners, and where I chose to volunteer was the children's garden as it once existed. Uh, and I worked with it for four or five years and then moved on to other things to do. There was not enough staff to actively support keeping it up really well. So when I became president of the Botanical Society, I approached Henry about the society paying for this, the equipment and supplies and having Master Gardeners help me to do this. I'm feeling very good today, no, <laughs> undoubtedly. And the important thing is that it is going to continue to need community involvement to aptly support it. Now, we're, our construction is pretty well finished. Now we're ready to really move into education in the community.